My name is Sarah Gray. I've been volunteering at the library for about a year and a half. I work with people um, doing job search, um, helping them fill out applications, filing for unemployment benefits, um, different things like that. A lot of times it's also helping people to um, learn how to use a computer, help them introduce them to the computer classes that we have here. Um, and I also help with archiving um, the magazines that come in. Um, we have everything from the Rolling Stone to the New York Times Dispatch. Um, so some days it's a lot of work, especially when the new magazines come in. But it's very, I'm a very organizational person, so it's a very uh, rewarding job for me. So one of my favorite things to do at the library is uh, volunteer. Um, it keeps me out of the house and, you know, engaged in the community. Um, and I also like to browse uh, their young adult section. That's one of my favorite sections of the library. Um, What's your favorite book? That's a hard one to pick. What, what book are you reading right now? Right now, I'm actually reading an economics book, but I would say that my favorite young adult um, novel is probably The Rain and Quiet. Um, I'm not exactly sure who it's by. Um, I haven't read it in a couple of years, but it's one of my favorites. Um, it's a book about the Salem witch trials and uh, a deaf boy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of my favorite books. That's great. And I have a question for you. So how many hours a week do you volunteer at the um, Let's see, about nine hours a week, um, but those nine hours are pretty packed. I'm sure. Um, and I've been I've been doing a lot of other different volunteer stuff for um, the library too. So, but on average, it's about nine hours. Okay. And how would you say your time is divided up? I know you mentioned the computer center was one of your favorite places. Um, is that somewhere where you spend a lot of your time as a volunteer, or is it in different areas? Yeah, that's mostly where I spend most of my time because the archives are right next to the computer lab. Okay. So while I'm doing job search and all this different stuff helping people with that, then I can go to the archives when things are slow mm -hmm. um, and, you know, do some organizing type of thing. Do you notice that a lot of regular customers keep coming back to the library? Do you see a lot of the same people? Yeah. Um, and it's really helped because there's been some outside um, outside people that have come in and done classes at the library um, for like job education and different things like right. that. And that bring, the other organizations also bring in more foot traffic as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. That's so. great. Do you have any closing thoughts? We often talk about how libraries help people make it happen. Can you tell us how the Richmond Public Library helps people make it happen? Yeah, because there are several people that I have helped with their job search. And it's actually a good thing when um, people don't come back because that means that they've um, found a job and they're... I've gotten um, gifts from people who um, are really excited about, you know, just filling out an application type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I've gotten gifts from people and different things, just expressing like their gratitude. That's wonderful. Well, thanks for talking with us. It was great, great having you here. You're welcome.